Hello, my name is Tony Vargas, and I want to welcome you to Tony's Vault and Hydra Aquatics. The things I would like to mention is the great partnership that I have as Tony's Vault with Hydra Aquatics. I have two of my partners here with me here today. One, his name is Robert. He is very instrumental in getting a lot of the technicalities of this business going. Another one is Ian. Ian is very instrumental as far as helping out on the day-to-day -day business aspect. One of the things we feel strongly about is the care of the animals when they first arrive. Uh, these animals come from a long distance. Some of my orders come from Africa, Australia, Sri Lanka, Philippines, Indonesia, whether it's corals, fish, or invertebrates. We want to give them the proper attention that they require. And I always said to myself, if I ever decide to do my own business, some of the things that I would do differently. So I decided to create the Tony's Vault separated from the other entity. And now today we have this Tony's Vault Hydra and it's really working out very well because a lot of the things that we as hobbyists care so much about a lot of the businessmen out there don't care about them and this is why it was important for me to establish this business. These fish and these corals and these invertebrates travel a long distance to get here and when they get here they're very stressed and from one species to another they can all be so differently stressed and when these fish all arrive and these corals arrive they need to be properly taken care of and that's why we at Tony's Vault and Hydra made a strong decision to put together a company that really cared about these animals. And what we do is we properly acclimate them, we properly condition them, so that way when they go to the retail stores, they go to the stores in a well-conditioned manner. So now to give you a little detail as to what we do in order to condition the animals and get them ready for you as the end customer, when the fish arrive, uh, we properly acclimate them and the acclimation session can take anywhere from six to eight hours. So if we get an order in that arrives at 10 o'clock at night, we're here to the wee hours of the morning making sure that all the animals are properly taken care of. And to furthermore the conditioning aspect of the fish, when we place them in our aquariums here, as you can see in the background, when we put them in these tanks, we hold these animals for a minimum of two weeks. And let's say, for example, uh, there's one particular fish that is not in great shape, even after two weeks. They'll sit with us until they're ready. I've had fish sit here for a month and a half that I felt needed more attention. And as the animal got better and his condition seemed livelier or his attitude seemed livelier, um, we decided to place them into the selling aspect of our business. But until the fish is ready or the coral or the invert's ready, they do not leave. Another thing that we do a little bit differently is we don't place our fish in hyposalinity. We firmly believe that the fish live in a salinity of 1.024, 1.025, even up to 1.027. So we keep our systems here, whether it's the coral system, the invert systems, or the fish systems, we keep them at 24, 25 at all times. And we feel that this makes the animals relax a little bit better. Um, when you put them in hypersalinity, uh, many fish tend to hemorrhage. Another thing that they tend to do is feel heavier because now they're not in buoyant water anymore. So they have to work harder to swim. And we honestly feel that it's harder to bring the fish up from a low salinity water up to back to its natural settings. So what we do is we keep them at the natural settings through their time here. I wanna to demonstrate to you an emperada that has been conditioned for over three weeks. Here is Robert feeding this emperada and look how readily the fish accepts human contact. Another thing we do a little bit differently here as a wholesaler is we provide all our aquariums that house the fish we provide those tanks with lights. This gives the retailer a chance to take a really good look at the fish before he purchases them. 
from the deepest part of my heart, I really want to thank our sponsors. Our sponsors all stepped up to the plate to help Tony's Vault Hydra become a reality. And without them, this would not have happened. First, I want to thank Eco Exotic and Current. Ike, thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Take a look at how well lit up our aquariums are. Bashi, Two Little Fishies, Marineland, Sea Chem, Marco Rock, Liquid Addiction, Boyd Enterprises, Aquamedic, and Polyp Lab. All these sponsors stepped up to the plate and really gave us great advice on helping us achieve our goal and our dream. And hopefully this dream will be passed on to you, the end customer, by receiving some of the fish that come out of here and some of the really incredible corals that you will get from a place like ours. And this one can't go without saying. And last but not least, Thomas, get in here, man. Dude, I wanna thank you for coming down, visiting my place. This man is unbelievable. He's awesome and he's doing really good stuff for our hobby, trying to help us all uh, become better hobbyists by providing information on YouTube. And without you, dude, I appreciate it's it. It's not happening. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. And this is The Ultimate Hobby. Thank you. Thank you.